It is the simplest and most desperate plea. Save me. Even if we haven't said these words out loud, we've all said them in our hearts. We say them in our most desperate moments. It is ironic then that these are the words the crowd cries out when Jesus enters Jerusalem on Palm Sunday. Hello, I'm Stuart Baskin, pastor of First Presbyterian Church of Tyler, Texas, and this is your daily devotional for Tuesday, September 6, 2022. The word is Hosanna. Listen to this version of Jesus' entry into Jerusalem from the Gospel according to Mark. Many people spread their cloaks on the road, and others spread leafy branches that they had cut in the fields. Then those who went ahead and those who followed were shouting, Hosanna! Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. Blessed is the coming kingdom of our ancestor David. Hosanna in the highest heaven. From the context of this passage, Hosanna sounds like a name or maybe a title, but technically it's not. Even in English, it is a transliteration of a Hebrew word that literally means, Oh, save us. But there's more to it even than that. What the crowds are shouting is a portion of Psalm 118 which has a very specific meaning. It is a psalm of praise for God's deliverance from trouble, and it was routinely used at the annual festival of Sukkot, or the Feast of Booths, which is interesting because that was a fall festival, and Palm Sunday took place during Passover, a spring festival. Here's the portion of Psalm 118 from which this passage comes. You'll find more than one familiar verse here. Open to me the gates of righteousness that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord. The righteous shall enter through it. I thank you that you have answered me and have become my salvation. The stone that the builders rejected has become the chief cornerstone. This is the Lord's doing. It is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech you, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech you, give us success. Blessed is the one who comes in the name of the Lord. The word save us near the end of this is the Hebrew word hoshana, rendered in both Greek and English as hosanna. The question is, why did the crowd on that first Palm Sunday use these words to welcome Jesus to Jerusalem? The cry, O oh, save us, has become a term to identify Jesus as the one who has come to save. In other words, the plea to save has become a title for the one who comes to save. It has gone from a plea to save to praise that the Savior has come. Indeed, Jesus' very name comes from Hebrew and is itself a noun meaning salvation. Jesus, Savior, is acclaimed by the crowd as salvation that has now come. The plea has become a proclamation. O oh, save us has become a proclamation that salvation has come. Jesus is the answer to that ancient plea of the psalmist for God to rescue and save. Hosanna. Tomorrow, we'll look at the word salvation itself. But what does it really mean? But for now, may God continue to bless you and keep you in all that you do this day and in all the days ahead.